you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm sharing with you three crock pot recipes I have been itching to get out my new crock pot and use it and I was trying to wait on this video for a little bit closer to fall or into cooler weather but I just couldn't wait I had so many good recipes to try plus a new crock pot it was bound to happen so tonight for dinner we are doing a new recipe and it is a pineapple pork tenderloin it sounds good it looks good so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna get started okay so I already have my pork tenderloins in the crock pot and I browned them and salt and peppered them and then now we're gonna add some garlic uh, probably about two teaspoons and then a fourth a cup of soy sauce a half a cup of brown sugar and our pineapple chunks and you do want to leave some juice in there you can do all the juice but um, I just did a little bit of juice So this full recipe will be down below, but I do want to note, I used a pork tenderloin and in the recipe she says to use a pork loin. A pork loin is more kind of like steak-like, you can cut it into cubes, whereas the tenderloin is going to shred and fall apart. Kind of do what you want to do, but we really liked using the tenderloin for this recipe. Okay, so here is what this looks like. You want that brown sugar to be right on top of your pork. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the lid on, and this is gonna cook on low um, just all day. So maybe, maybe eight hours, probably about six to eight. This looks so good. It's just kind of gonna shred up, and I'm going to shred it and then kind of let everything sit in that juice for about 10 more minutes while I finish up our sides but this smells amazing I wish y'all could smell it and try it out too but I think it's gonna be really good so I'm just gonna shred this up and let it sit and then we will plate it up here in just a minute so here is what this looks like all plated up we served ours with some rice some broccoli and then you can choose to eat the pineapple if you want I did nibble it with the pineapple and it was super good so we are about to dive in, but I am really excited to have a new crock pot recipe in the dinner rotation, especially since fall is right around the corner. So I have on my cozy sweater and I have the air cranked down and we are pretending that it is fall in this house. Sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. But tonight we're doing one of my favorite recipes and that is a Frito chili pie. And I love this recipe because you just throw your chili in the crock pot and then each person can kind of make their Frito pie whenever they're ready. So a lot of nights I need dinner at like 4.30 or 5 and my husband wants dinner at like 6.30 or 7. So this recipe is perfect for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and we are gonna get started. So for our chili, I already have one pound of ground beef browned and in the bottom of my crock pot. And then I'm going to add one pack of chili seasoning, one can of chili beans. You can add two cans if you want, but I like one can of chili beans and one can ranch style beans. And then one thing of tomato juice, this is 64 ounces. So I think we'll use all of that. And we're just gonna dump it all in and let it cook probably on low for about four or five hours. So I know a lot of people usually drain and rinse their beans, but I don't, especially for my chili. I think it adds some extra flavor in there, but if you wanna drain and rinse yours, then that is totally fine. So this has been going for about four or five hours and really this just needs to heat through. It could have used another can of beans, but my husband does not really love a ton of beans in his chili, so I didn't add them, but I think for regular people, <laughs> add another can, but it looks really good. So we're gonna eat this over top of some Fritos and some cheese and have a little Frito chili pie. So 
tonight for dinner we are having a sausage potato and green bean casserole slash bake I don't know what you would call it but basically you put those three ingredients in your crock pot with some seasonings and you call it dinner so that's what we're doing tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and flip you all around and we are gonna get started So this recipe is pretty self-explanatory because it is a three ingredient recipe, but I'm using smoked sausage link and I cut all of that up just into bite-sized pieces. And then I peeled and rinsed three potatoes and I'm doing the same here, just cutting those up and dicing them into about bite-sized pieces. And then I threw all of that in the bottom of my crock pot and then I'm adding two cans of green beans. And I did use the juice or keep the juice from my green beans sometimes I will add in a little bit of beef broth but instead I added in two cubes of beef broth and then just the liquid for my green beans but for my seasonings I did some onion powder some garlic powder and then some cavender seasoning that is my favorite combination and then I put the lid on this and I let it cook on low probably about five to six hours really on this you just want your potatoes to be really tender and cooked all the way through so just kind of keep an eye on it but this one was really good okay so this has been going for about five hours and it looks really good it smells really good I did not have to add any more liquid to this just what was from the cans was plenty so I'm gonna probably let this cook another 30 minutes just because a few of the potatoes are a little bit um, not as tender so probably about 30 more minutes and then I'm going to Put this in a bowl and we will have some dinner. Thank you all for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you got some recipe inspiration for this upcoming week. And as always, if y'all are new around here, I would love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.